Hi everyone, I am Ayush Shah, a product manager for Greenplum's unmanaged data team at VMware. Today, we will be talking about PXF support for read and write in ORC. To recap, the platform extension framework or PXF provides you with connectors that help you access external data sources not on the Greenplum database. So you can query external tables via GPDB, leaving the reference data in place, or you can use the external data tables to load the external sources onto GPDB for higher performance. PXF supports multiple connectors natively, as you see in the picture here. To introduce ORC, it is short for optimized row columnar and is a file type that stores data by columns rather than by rows. This file structure allows for much more compressed and smaller sized files since it uses lightweight compression techniques like bit packing. It also allows for easier filtering. So rather than looking at all the rows and columns of a data set, you have the ability to read only minimal rows that are required, which leads to easier and faster analytical processing. Looking at the ORC structure, we see that ORC files are split up by row data, each of which are called stripes. They, these files also have a file footer, which contain information about column types and number of rows per file. The files also have a postscript, which contain information like compression size, parameters, and row size. When it comes to the stripes itself, we are mainly concerned with the row data, which contains the actual data, which will be used for table scans. The index data gives you information about the row position and the min and max of columns and helps you locate these stripes. Reading ORC data using PXF. So to recognize ORC files, we use the PXF connector or the profile and the profile HDFS ORC. The profile supports all primitive data types and arrays of the primitive types. There are some prerequisites to read an ORC file. You should have privileges to Hadoop, privileges to the Greenplum database cluster, and you should have a configured PXF cluster. Once you have completed all three prerequisites, you will be able to create an external table specifying the ORC profile and referencing the ORC file. Let's go over an example to understand this better. So here, as an example, we create a JSON file named sampledata.json in a new directory named temp. So this includes columns like location, month, number of orders, total sales, and items sold. We then download the most recent version of ORC tools, which will help us convert the JSON file to an ORC file. Once we complete that step, we copy the file to HDFS, log in to the Greenplum master host, and connect to a database. Here, our database is called TestDB. We are then able to create an external table. Um, here we name it sample ORC. A few things to note here. We first mention the column names along with their file types like location, text, and so on. As for the location, we make sure it references the path to the file. And as for the profile, we it specifies the object store. So here it is HDFS ORC. We then query the table to read the data with a simple um, SQL formula, select star from sample ORC. We are also able to explore and query the data on any column. So here, for example, we look at rows where items sold include at least one of boots or pants. We now talk about the new feature writing ORC data using PXF. So all PXF versions post 6.4.0 will allow users to create an external table 
that writes to a set of files in ORC format on HDFS or cloud. PXF uses the external table definitions to generate the ORC schema. When it comes to support for write ORC, PXF supports all the primitive types supported for read ORC and supports the one dimensional arrays of the primitive types. Let's look at an example for write ORC. So here um, we look at three fields, ID, username, and followers. We create a writable external table, which will allow us to insert data into the table whenever required or needed. We then insert some data into the table. Here, um, we see that BXF automatically generates the ORC schema using the external table definitions. We then create a readable external table to read the inserted data. And finally, query the table to read the data. So to summarize, today we went over an introduction to PXF, ORC files and their structure, and PXF support for read and write for ORC files. Thank you.